Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this Together SI Business Spotlight. My name is Todd Bavona, reporting for the Staten Island Advance, and wow, what an entrance for this spotlight. We are on location. That's Ian Dahlberg in the driver's seat. That is Dalcor Security. I mean, no other entrance that you've seen during these spotlights kind of like that. So, uh, and joining us now is Ian Dahlberg. Ian, how are you, pal? How's everything going, man? Todd. Good. All right. So, here we are on Minthorne Street, for Minthorne, where your office is. Uh, real quick, just tell us about yourself. So tell us about Dalcor Security. Well, myself, I you know, started off as a Coast Guard veteran, uh, you know, 2003 to 2009. When I got out uh, with a background in anti-terrorism and law enforcement, there really wasn't many civilian opportunities. So while going to college, I tried many different, uh, different uh, jobs out there, and nothing really suited me until I got my security guard license. And shortly after getting my license, I was picked up as a manager trainee at the Waldorf Astoria for their security program. After a year with them and working with high-end celebrities like Michael J. Fox, Angelina Jolie, Johnny Depp, uh, President Bush and President Obama, uh, I really enjoyed the civilian sector of uh, security. So I learned that this could be a business and I went back to College of Staten Island, finished on my degree and was like, you know what, I'm going to join uh, one of the contracting companies where I be, you know, left and became a branch manager at Securitas and uh, Ally Barton and learned everything from these huge organizations and saw what was lacking uh, within the, those organizations and thought I can start my own company and uh, make some changes and uh, it's been pretty successful so far. Been around since 2018? 2018, 2018, yes. Right, uh, and how long have you been at this beautiful location here for Minthorn? Uh, we've been here since its inception. I think it's been about a year now. Uh, the, the owners of this place uh, of Enrichment, we were over at 60 Bay Street and uh, you know the, they decided to upgrade to this great street. It's awesome because we have flagship brewery, Flower and Oak, O'Henry's Pub, and Daddio's all on the same street. And then we have Inspiration Plaza. We also run the security for this location too. All right, so Minthorn Street is always happening. So we move from outside to let traffic pass through. Uh, and we're now we're inside at Dalcor's offices. So Ian, uh, we left off saying a little about us, uh, spoke about Minthorn Street and being here, being surrounded by some, a couple great businesses, Flagship Brewery and Daddio's, of course. Uh, COVID hit. Talk to me about what happened, uh, let's talk March, April, May, uh, and what did that mean for you and your company? After two years of build up where we went from no employees whatsoever to 30 employees, it, you know, the first thing that started, one of our clients is the, the College of Staten Island, and we see Cuomo on TV while I'm in this office saying they shut down CUNY, and two minutes later I actually get a phone call from the College of Staten Island and saying, hey, we're shutting down the college and what we do over there is parking enforcement and loss prevention for the dining rooms. So that's five full-time jobs, gone, like that. So that's a huge account for us. So it's like, all right, you know, I expected this. And then the phone calls started coming in, businesses shutting down, locking their doors. So with, you know, that it just goes into electronic security and they don't want the physical security there. One, because they don't know how they're gonna pay for it. And Clients after clients started dropping off. We were down to three clients. It was just like, wow, it was just like, is COVID going to wipe us out? And then all of a sudden uh, we had, you know, the social distancing and people were not respecting it. So then we started getting the emergency calls you know, or the, the event calls. We had, uh, they had, one place had a bachelorette party happening on the rooftop and they were without authorization of the HOA and the, the board, the shareholders of that building. So they needed security up there because they didn't want to lock it down because everybody's already isolated in their building. So they're going to be isolated just their unit. They wanted the rooftop to be available. So we started getting calls like that. Um, and then the, uh, then the protesting and then the rioting took place right after the protesting. And after the, when the riots hit, people started hiring us. So we really, you know, we went down for a minute there okay. and then we started building up and we're, you know, we're not where we were, but it's, you know, we've been really, you know, staying sustained. And I'm very lucky for a business that continue with that. Absolutely, and, and, and one of the things about this spotlight is listening to people adjust. And so you had to adjust too to a, a sudden loss for X period of time and then realizing people still needed your services, which is great. And I'm glad to hear things are a little back to normal. Although, speaking of back to normal, when like this modified phase four, right, Ian, where it's, it's phase four, but we can't do in, in restaurant dining and whatnot. Ian, talk to me a little bit about what's to come. Talk about the rest of the summer, the fall, and what do you have planned in store for Dalcor Security? I know you have some other offerings, in fact, you want to talk about. Yes, um, with, you know, with COVID, it's been a unique ground. Uh, you know, we have places where we have to do temperature checks and we never thought that was gonna ever take place or our security officers telling people you need to stay six feet apart. 
you need to wear your mask before you come in. So there's a whole new set of you know operating procedures that our officers have to abide by, which were never in the book before. It was common, you know, we'll do loss prevention, we'll make sure there's no trespassers, but now there's a much more unique approach. It's a new layer of it, security now. It yeah. is, it is, and it's a new type. It's just something that no one, when they got their security license, they expected, and that they all have to take their online class for COVID awareness and prevention. But it's, um, the, the layout, I think, with what's coming up, social distancing is key. Mm -hmm. Having security officers, because people, when they go out, we have a good time, we forget, we get close, sure. we put the restaurant, you compromise the restaurant when you violate you know, social distancing or anything and then sure. you could shut that place down. So it's always good to have the security officer like, I'm sorry, can you, you know. Yeah, step on step back, of course, okay. In, in, the, in the most sincere way possible, <laughs> of course, yeah. where you don't seem like you know the regime coming after you. It's like, hey, I know you guys are having a good time, but just for the sake of uh, keeping us in business. Of course, all right. And uh, Ian, you're also doing some things uh, with videos online. I know we've seen you very busy on, on social media, mm -hmm. keeping the business out there. Talk a little bit about that, what you guys are doing. Uh, you know, Mark, you know, I've definitely had time to focus on marketing with everything uh, going on and it's very important, especially now, is to market our company. But we've had to make some changes. So I started a branch and a school and, uh, you know, mobile, first one was mobile branch where you saw the Ford Mustang. It's a unique approach to security and you're able to actually get a higher quality officer too because um, it's shared security services. So for $45 a night, you get a security officer three times a night in the Mustang for 15 minute patrols. Now there's more in depth to this. It's also monitored on uh, the cloud with the phones and it's a, it's a great security presence to have. And it's a, you know, very social distancing because our security officers in the vehicle patrolling the areas, making sure buildings are safe. And also it's budget constant because companies don't have the budget they had anymore. <laughs> They're losing revenue. So they're gonna cut, people do cut security. Well, this is where you can make a budget cut but not sacrifice the quality of security. The other one we have, and I was in the final stages of launching this, was our security school. And when COVID-19 hit, putting 25 people in the classroom just was like, no more. That and it, it, yeah, it, a lot of, there was a lot of moments of that happened. Yeah. And um, it, it's kind of like, how do we pivot with this? And, so I went forward trying to get the license and that just became more and more difficult to get a certified. It was an eight month process just to get the school done. And um, finally talking with Department of Criminal Justice and saying what type of issues you know, the industry's having, I was able to get approval for our company to do online classes, which has never been done before. That's great. Yeah, I thought uh, I'd say I've heard something like that before. That's awesome. Yeah, so it's, you get, if you want to become a security guard, you have to go through a Department of Criminal Justice certified school, which we are now officially and we can do it online. So you can become a security officer or you renew your security guard license, which is required every year. And you can do it now through us via online. Wow, so cool. Uh, again, just good to hear businesses finding creative ways to do things differently mm -hmm. uh, because you know, we all have to. And, we all, and, and you know, if we're gonna survive, that's what we need to do. So right. it's great. There's, yeah. you know, people that look at things as a roadblock at the end of their career, and then there's people that move on, think they're just another hurdle you have to get over. And I think for any entrepreneur they know, Every day is a hurdle. You better jump. Ian, thanks so much for the time. What a great way to end the video. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, once again, Ian Dahlberg, Dahlcore Security. We're here on Minthorn Street. Happened in place. Had to start outside. We're back inside now. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this edition of Together Red Side Business Spotlight. Reporting for the Staten Island Events, my name is Tabavona. We'll see you next time.